A good day to all of you. I'm Shehan Pereira, a primary English teacher at Gateway College, Nigambo. Today, I'm here to present an action study on understanding the impacts of vocabulary on comprehension and creative writing components of English language. My research was carried out on students ages between 8 to 11 in our school. If I talk about the content of my research, it would be as follows. The reason as to why this research was implemented is that there were constant complaints from parents regarding the lower marks secured for English language in case two in comparison to case one. If I define what case two and case one is, case two is grades between three to five and case one is grades one and two. Further, the year end analysis of the past three years showed there is no significant improvement in the English language results. As you can see below, it shows that there has been a drastic drop in the third term English language results. Therefore, the objective of my research was to identify the main reasons behind the lower gradings of English language from year three to five. For this, an action research was carried out. First, I selected a focus, then a detailed analysis was done, remedial interventions were taken, and finally, after the interventions, the data was collected and they were analyzed. When selecting a focus group, 15 students from each grade who scored below 70 marks were selected. Then their papers were analyzed and I identified the areas that they have scored less marks in. A detailed analysis of the structure of the English paper was done. As you can see, the creative writing section consists of 25% marks allocated for vocabulary and spelling. In the same way, the comprehension section also allocated 15% of its marks for word knowledge or vocabulary. The analysis of the creative writing papers of the sample group showed that the students have scored less marks in the vocabulary and spelling component of the creative writing paper, which is highlighted through the red bars. Similarly, their comprehension paper too showed that they had scored less marks in the vocabulary component. Finally, it was understood that less marks were scored both in the comprehension and creative writing papers under the vocabulary component. An analysis of the entire paper showed that 20% of the total mark was allocated for vocabulary or word knowledge. Therefore, a verification process through a pretest was done to gauge the current standards of vocabulary of the students. A closed test and a maze test was carried out on the sample group. The tests reveal that the average level of vocabulary is less than the average vocabulary level of the students in the grades. Therefore, theories were clarified and I understood that there were many reasons behind the vocabulary component and there were many ways to uplift the vocabulary standards. The resources that I used for my study is mentioned in this slide. Three 
criteria were identified and I understood that reading helps improvement of vocabulary. Effective use of dictionary leads to improvement of vocabulary and lesson planning is directly related to students' achievements. Therefore, the hypothesis was then tested. First, a survey was done using a questionnaire to assess the current reading habits of the student. The sample questionnaire that was used is given as follows. Similarly, to find out how effectively students are using their dictionary, another questionnaire was circulated among the students. A sample of the questionnaire is given below. The summary of the data obtained through the questionnaires indicated that the students had poor reading habits, majority of students did not bring their dictionaries to school, and if they brought and if they used their dictionary, it was only to find the spelling of the words. It was also identified that there was a problem in the lesson plan. Therefore, a quantitative and qualitative testing of the lesson plans were done. It revealed that the below given errors were done when teaching vocabulary. Therefore, interventions were taken during the academic year 2019 and 2020. As the first step, instead of individual lesson planning, collaborative lesson planning was done. Then, time was allocated in the lesson plan during every lesson for vocabulary development. Students were asked to maintain a DPAL, which means their own dictionary. The library periods were more effectively organized for the students where a teacher accompanied them. The students were encouraged to read more using their reading log and read and were asked to use their DPAL more effectively. After these were implemented, the first and the second term of 2019-20, the results showed that there was an improvement in the performance of English language. Further, at the year end, we understood that 20% more students were able to score more than 70 marks for English. A, com a comparative statistic analysis indicated that there was a 15% increase in the vocabulary component. Here, as you can see, that there is a significant improvement in the results of the last year's paper. After the intervention, when the creative writing papers were analyzed, we could find out that there had been an improvement in the vocabulary component. Similarly, when the comprehension papers were also analyzed, there was a significant improvement in the vocabulary level. Therefore, it was evident that improving vocabulary impacts both comprehension and creative writing aspect of the English language and thus helps in better performance in the English language as a whole. Anyhow, factors such as self-concept of the individual students, the influence of the parents on students, and school, school culture are areas that were not considered as influencing variables for this outcome, which literature shows that might contribute to the improvement of vocabulary. I take this opportunity to thank the DERP committee for the opportunity given for me to present this research and for the constant guidance and support given throughout this endeavor. Thank you and have a nice day.